In this video, we'll learn how to use the measuring tape tool. Click on it. This tool has two modes, guideline and measure. Its default is guideline, and you can tell it's in guideline mode by the dot dot plus near it. So to make guidelines, click on a line and then move the cursor up. You can type a number or you can click on an existing line. So I've just made a guideline level with the window head. I can make a guideline over here by clicking right here. I don't have to measure again. I can just click on the intersection of the last guideline I made and the wall. And this way I can easily draw windows around the whole house that share the same head height. I can also make guide points with the tape measure. Click on an end point and then click where you want the guide point to be. There's a guide point. There's another guide point. And I can also type a number. And there's my third guide point. And with these guide points, I can draw through them. Now go to Edit and Delete Guides to get rid of all those guides. You can also use the tape measure to measure things and to change the size of things. Hit the control key to get out of guideline mode. Notice that the two dots and the plus sign aren't there anymore. Then click, click, and this tells me that the length is 12 feet. If I want it longer than 12 feet, then I can size this whole model proportionately by typing a new dimension. I'll type 15 feet. It's important to know that you can't click on anything or move the mouse or do anything in between that initial measuring and typing a new dimension. Now hit Enter and I'm asked if I want to resize the model. Yes, and the whole model now resized to 15 feet. If this house was inside a group, then I would need to use the tape measure inside the group because if I use the tape measure outside the group, I can still resize it, but the problem is that everything in the model will also get resized. So if I open the group's editing box and then click on the points between which I want to resize, I will only resize what is in the active group or component. And that's how you use the tape measure tool.